So it's been a busy couple of weeks. So I'll backtrack. Meetings. And then I played golf. And then there were some more meetings. We had a company picnic. So still on the grill, we've got some uh, sausages, some chicken, some burgers that are cooking. A lot of the folks are up there on the hill playing volleyball, whatever that sport is. Which was really neat. Did some email marketing. And then it's been more meetings. I feel like the last couple of weeks has just been a blur of meetings, which I'm okay with because we've got a lot of opportunities right in front of us and we're just trying to figure out how to make it work. I also have redesigned my office. Let me show you. There was a desk here with a credenza and all kinds of stuff. So now I have a standing desk, which is pretty cool. And I have a coffee station with this pretty nifty uh, repurposed wire reel spool thing and it's pretty cool because it has our logo on it and this is really cool a custom desk that was built and this is our logo that's burned into it also all of my dry erase markers have disappeared for some reason and so I'm I'm really struggling with trying to write things on my board <laughs> So here are kind of the five things that are happening right now. There are business operation projects. There are customer project, customer opportunity projects. There's business marketing and networking new markets. And then behind all that that's kind of supporting these four things is family and rest. So let's go back. Is email dead? Like does anybody use email anymore if that question would have been posed to me i don't know maybe four months ago i would have said it's useless nobody reads emails nobody uses emails why do we even have it the reason that i bring it up is within this year starting in january i started testing out email marketing to our customers it's something that I've always struggled with before because I hate email. But after talking with some of my customers, they had a completely different perspective and they said, we utilize email to get information. If you can share relevant content with us through email, that's the best way to get it to us. Let me give it a try. You can't base your entire perspective based off of the way that you utilize certain pieces of information we all process information differently. So when you're talking about marketing your business, when you're talking about sharing your business or your, your solutions with other people, with potential customers or whatever the case may be, it's hard for me to understand where you draw the line and say, that's not applicable. But I also believe from a branding perspective, from a marketing perspective, that you have to be everywhere because you want people to remember you. Secondly, I have gotten a lot of feedback from the videos that I've posted through various means of media, YouTube and Facebook and a lot of different places. And I'm super grateful for all of the feedback that you've given me. It really motivates me to try to do more and to work on more. Third thing, how do you manage your schedule? I'm horrible at this and I'm trying to get better because I'm all, one of the reasons that I redesigned my office was from a functionality standpoint. And I found myself being heavily distracted by a large monitor on my desk and a cluttered workspace. So I got rid of all of that and I went to this laptop so that when I have meetings with people, when I'm collaborating with people, I can close the lid of my laptop and I'm not distracted. One of the things that we struggle with is distractions every single day. This logo, by the way, is incredible. It, 
It looks really awesome. I got this neat coffee cup today from the Hornets. Again, I don't have the answer on this yet. This is just literally what's happening in life. And I'm trying to figure out how to make it all work because all of these things have so much equal value and one that gets toppled all over the other is just, is just gonna be a struggle. It's not like you can give up any of these. They're all very important and they all have high relevance. So then it's a matter of trying to figure out how to equal the focus on all of them at the same time. So we're getting a lot of great new projects and all of these things require meetings on top of meetings. And oftentimes it's really hard to stay focused and keep moving forward. All the while, the year is quickly flying by. It's gonna be amazing.